show you how to patch a hole in the wall, hole in sheetrock, and how to fix all that shit up there too. You see this big hole right here? I'm going to show you how to patch it and make it look like it wasn't ever there. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to cut a piece of sheetrock like that. That's going to cover the hole. And then I'm going to hold that piece of sheetrock up over the top of the hole like that and trace a line around it and cut it out. So now I got the hole cut for the patch and everything. I'm going to take a couple of pieces of wood and I have to put them up inside the wall like that and screw them so that you have something to screw your sheetrock to. I'm going to put a piece right here and a piece over here. So I have something to screw that sheetrock to, that piece right there. So now we got our blocks of wood in the wall and that's going to give us something to screw this piece of sheetrock onto, right? So I'm going to go ahead on and sit this motherfucker up in the hole. You see, there's your blocks of wood. And you notice how you screw it around the perimeter. However you can fit it around your pipes and all. That's right. Now, so go ahead and put your piece of wood, piece of sheetrock in the hole and screw that up. And then I'll show you how to patch it. So now these little holes up here that we got to fix, you're going to dent them in with a ball peen hammer. That way they can get up in here to uh, sheetrock mud. Then I want to sand all this little paint line down around here and the shag off and everything so that I can make a nice swatch of mud across there and the bubble out, just leave them like it is. Wait till it dries, sand it down, and then put another glaze across it, and that'll take care of all that. So now I've got the piece of um, sheetrock in the hole, and it's all screwed to the wood braces we put in. But I can't just put mud in these cracks because it'll crack. So I need to put a tape joint there. Now the, I used the one edge of the factory as a sheetrock that's already flared, so I don't have to worry about that. But on the sides, I'm going to take my razor knife. And I'm going to come right on down just like that. Just like that. See, I'm trying to do this and film it at the same time. I'll come right across here just like that. Just like that. So I can peel this paper off. And put a tape joint there. Now I'll peel that paper off and I'll put a tape joint there. All right, so now that we got all of our paper peeled back so we can lay a tape joint, I'm going to take a sanding sponge and sand all the little shags off and shit like that, all the little shaggly paper and everything. If you don't do that, it'll get all mixed up in your fucking sheetrock and it won't leave a nice finish. You want to get that nice and smooth. Now I'm going to go ahead and get some nice wet mud and put some tape joints all the way around the perimeter of this bitch. And then we'll mud them in. See, I got a tape joint in here. And at this point, I'm going to go ahead on and run a, a, a line of mud right over across my tape with a 12 inch knife or my wide sheetrock knife. And at the same time, I'm going to go ahead on and fill these holes and shit in up here and hit the edges up there where the paint transition was that we sanded down. Come in here tomorrow and sand it all down. I just saw sanded down and everything. I'm going to have to reglaze it, especially up over top of this hole. You know, when I do over the holes, I'm going to go ahead and pack it in nice. And uh, go ahead on and get a nice wet. The trick to sheetrocking is to keep the tape nice and nice and wet. Don't let it overlap the piece above it because it'll leave a, a hump in the, in the wall. So I'm going to go ahead on there and put some more mud on there. So now the whole area is mudded down. As you can see, with the tape joint and everything, the hole is gone. And what I'm going to do now is just let that dry and come back tomorrow and sand it all down smooth. Now, if you got to do it a little faster, you can get you some 15 minutes spackling where, you know, comes in the powder and you mix the water in and stir it up, mix it up with a mixer on the end of a drill, and you can do it faster. But this right here is a general all-purpose sheetrock mud. And it's going to take a little while for it to dry and everything. And I like to put it on nice and thick 
not enough to where I'm to sand myself to, you know, sand a lot, do a lot of sanding. But at the same time, on my last couple of trials, when I go across it, I like to wet my sheetrock knife up a little bit, my sheetrock blade. That way I can get a nice smooth finish on that bitch. And I went through and did the whole area. That way there's no transition between the old paint and the area that wasn't painted because it was a water fountain there. Another thing too I want to stress that is that the, the, you need to know the thickness of your sheetrock. Is it half inch? Is it, is it five eighths? And you might not have to go get a whole piece of sheetrock because like if you get a Lowe's, you can get just like a little piece. You know, for doing patches and stuff in walls. You don't have to buy a whole piece. If you go somewhere like Home Depot, Lowe's, you can get a small piece for your project. And uh, so that's basically what it's going to look like. I'm going to sand it all down. And with the way I've done it, as thick as I've done it, I probably won't have to even put another coat on it or a finished coat on it. And uh, I'm sorry that I didn't I didn't video it as I was putting the tape joints on and all that, but I... I can't do the video and, and do the tape jointing and the mudding at the same time. But basically in this video, you just get the steps, how to do it, you know, cut the piece, hold it up to the wall, trace around it, put a piece of, cut the hole right in the wall to fit the piece. Then put your pieces of wood in there, run some screws in there to catch it and bridge it, trim it back to paper, put your tape joints on it and mud it. And, uh, then put it in that file and cut it over top of it let this shit sand down and uh sand it down and prime and paint it and that's what you got see so y'all have a good day now and subscribe to get go tv and leave a comment if you got a question and hit the like button and subscribe that's important we need some subscribers man so subscribe and watch some of our other 240 videos and I'll be making more, you know, leaving a comment if it's some certain kind of video you want to make. And if we can do it, we'll make the video. And y'all have a good day now. Good luck with your project.